the Xbox showcase has happened. It is probably the best showcase we've gotten this year. I would even say in the last couple years. Um, let's go over every single game that was announced there. We'll do it rapid fire. Hopefully get it done pretty quick. Save you some time watching that if you haven't already. And discuss a little bit about each game that was shown. So without further ado, let's get into it here. This graphic we have here on whichever side of me this is. Uh, it's kind of showcasing the, the big tentpole games that they showed. So this isn't every game that they showed. But it's the big ones. you got your Call of Duty, your Indiana Jones, which we already knew about. Uh, your Gears of War, uh, Doom, all that good stuff. So let's just go down the list, cover everything. First one, I think this is in alphabetical order, obviously. Age of Mythology Retold, again, remaster of Age of Mythology. If you like Age of Empires, you like RTS games, or you liked the original Age of Mythology, something to look out for. If you didn't like any of that stuff, you probably won't change your mind with this, but cool that it's there. Next, Avowed. Uh, we saw more gameplay of this, and we've seen gameplay a couple times, and mm, it looks rough to me personally. It doesn't look interesting. I think the trailer they showed this time was definitely better than the previous one, but I'm still like, what's the game? What are, it doesn't it doesn't look interesting. Um, so kind of gotta wait and see on that one. I think they said that's coming out this year still. Uh, no date though, no month given. So we'll wait on that one. Uh, next, of course, Call of Duty Black Ops 6. We knew this was going to be revealed. They showed some uh, the campaign multiplayer and gave details on zombies. They didn't show much on zombies, which is what I'm most interested in. Um, but biggest news, really, is that it's coming to Game Pass Day 1. Uh, hopefully they put some of the other Call of Duty games on there, but that's interesting. Game Pass Day 1 on Xbox and PC for your big tentpole release. That's going to It'll be interesting to see how that goes for them next uh doom a new a doom sequel or i guess prequel uh doom the dark ages coming out 2025 um they announced it obviously only for xbox pc i would think this would still also come to playstation but i'm not sure they might keep that exclusive either way prequel kind of like i wouldn't say medieval time period because there's still guns but it's m more medieval, I guess, uh, in nature. Next one, Fable. Now, Fable was announced so, 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 so long ago. Um, but they actually showed trailer. They showed what appeared to be at least some gameplay. Uh, it looks good. Like, it, it looked beautiful. And Fable games are always fun. It's fun to goof around in those worlds. So I'm actually excited for this. I, I wasn't before this trailer, but I'm, I'm definitely more interested in Fable uh, as of now. I think it's still 2025, though. Uh, they ended the uh, showcase with the New Gears of War, E-Day, which is Emergence Day. If you're not familiar with Gears of War, that's when the locust first show up. You know, they bore through the, the Earth and go to the surface to uh, attack humanity and all that fun stuff. Uh, Unreal Engine 5, again, I don't think they even gave a date for this. Not even a 2025 date, just the, uh, just the trailer. Um, nonetheless... Here's War, fun, campaign's going to be good, I'm sure. Um, multiplayer, always good. Horde, always fun. Uh, if they go back to the more ba uh, basics, I guess this may be the word, but like the Gears of War 1, Gears of War 2 era, I think that's when the franchise was the best in many people's opinion, so we're looking forward to that. Uh, Indiana Jones, we've seen this one before. They kind of did a, a newer uh, showcase, showcased a mission, um, like a it was mostly cutscene. There wasn't really much gameplay there. There was a gameplay montage at the end, which I think we'd already seen. Uh, it looks good, though. Again, this is a 2024, so this is... I would assume this is an October-November game, right? Um, possibly September, but I obviously not any earlier than that, or they would have said. And it doesn't strike me as a December release, so somewhere around that time. Sorry, my mic is, like, blacking out here. Let's try that. Okay, next one. Flight Sim. This was this is surprising. Uh, I didn't think they would release a new Flight Sim that quick, but uh, here we are. Flight Sim 2024, Xbox, PC, all that good stuff. Um, the kind of main point of the trailer was there's a lot more activities you can do now. It's not just oh, flying. There's like commercial flights, um, um, 
like flying the planes or the helicopters that you know dump water on um, wildfires like all kinds of different um, options you can do there to keep it more interesting make it more of maybe a game as opposed to just like a they fly around look at the pretty scenery though i'm sure lots of people enjoy um the simulator aspects of that game uh they finally showed perfect dark gameplay and i don't know i don't know what to think about this one because the gameplay they showed while it looked interesting um it it reminded me of like like physics shooters or what's the, what's the word um, just those kind of shooters where there's multiple ways to handle a situation. Uh, there's a lot of physics-based um, movement, uh, knocking things over, you know, hitting things to blow this thing up, to knock this guy over, to you know, grapple this guy to this thing. Um, I like that kind of game and that kind of gameplay, but the gameplay they showed was like something was a little off about it. It didn't look as polished as I would hope it would be because this is coming from the initiative, which was when Microsoft announced it their quadruple a studio and what i saw at least in the trailer is not a quadruple a product it looks about as good as some indie shooters we've been getting in the last year so i'll be interested to see how that shapes up but i'm i'm optimistic about it but i'm a little cautious as well south of midnight saw gameplay of that um the art style it's very very interesting i think it looks very good but it's the gameplay they showed was kind of boring to me personally. Like it didn't look like anything we haven't seen before in a dozen other games just like this. Apologize if you can hear any dogs in the background barking, they're going nuts. Um, but the gameplay just wasn't interesting to me. It didn't strike me as something I'm like, oh, I have to play this. Uh, it could very well be good, but didn't strike me. Next, State of K3. They showed very little gameplay. There was like a couple scenes in their trailer where it was clear like they switched to third person view. Um and like it looked good, but there wasn't much to it. There was very little gameplay shown. It was mostly a cinematic trailer and still no date, which is kind of crazy. Like, how long has this been in the works? Like five, six, seven years at this point? Like State of the K aren't huge games either, but uh, I think they switched to Unreal Engine 5, so maybe maybe they also upped the scope of the game itself. But uh, nonetheless, looking forward to that one. Uh, they just showed some of the first gameplay for Assassin's Creed Shadows. Not much to go on there. It looks like an Assassin's Creed game. It's pretty good looking. Comes out November 15th of this year. Next one, Adam Fall. So... Uh, this is from the Rebellion, which is the developers of like Sniper Elite and the Nazi Zombie Army, those titles. And this looks like a first-person single-player game set in England. Um, kind of alternate alternate 1950s type of deal. Very, very wacky, kind of zany looking game. Looked fun though. Uh, no date though, just a nebulous 2025. Uh, Expedition 33. Um, this was a very interesting looking game, very, uh, I guess it stood out artistically compared to some of the other games, um, but it was interesting because you're looking at this gameplay, and it looks like almost like something like for Spoken or whatever, but then when it got to the gameplay, it was like Persona, like turn-based, like RPG type gameplay, which is really interesting. So we'll see how that one turns out. It, it at least has uh, uniqueness on its side. Next, Dragon Age. I was confused about this one because they, they had a very long trailer for this. Um, when Dragon Age was announced, it was like, uh, it was announced as Dragon Age like Wolf something. I don't remember the exact title, but they changed the name. It's now Dragon Age of the Veil Guard. It looks really cartoony, like way more cartoony than Dragon Age has looked before. Um, I got like... Like, like I know Dragon Age is kind of more top down, to a degree. I I got like a weird like like cartoony ARPG vibes from like even just looking at the uh, the dude here. Like look at this guy. Like it looks like a like this could you could replace Dragon Age the Veil Guard there and just put like new Overwatch character and like I would believe that it was it's very strange art style for Dragon Age, but uh, don't know much about it. No release date, nothing like that. Again, another trailer where we got like a few hints of gameplay, 
but nothing really concrete. Next, uh, we've seen this game before. Um, Flintlock, The Siege of Dawn, uh, comes out July 18th, which is pretty cool. Um, it actually looks good. It looks fun. Like, it looked like the gameplay looked fun. Um, so I am interested in that. It's developed by A44. Um, Souls-like, um, with seemingly some faster combat, some flashier, like, Bayonetta, like, uh, Devil May Cry, or even the recent Stellar Blade-style moves, where there's kind of, like, more flashy combos and stuff like that. Uh, looked interesting. I will probably check that game out on Game Pass when it comes out. Next, Fragpunk. Um, basically, imagine Valorant with cards. Card, like, and the different cards you see in the trailer, they like have a card and they break it apart, and then that thing happens. One of the examples was like there was something that made like grass appear, like really tall grass appear on the stage, or at least in a particular area of the stage, and you could hide in that grass, use it to an advantage, break one that's like big head mode for the enemies, so the enemies will all have big heads. Uh, and various things like that. So card game mixed with like what is essentially Valorant. It looked very, very similar to Valorant. Uh, looks interesting. I don't know if I have room in my life for any more free-to-play competitive shooters, but uh, there it is. Uh, life is Strange sequel. I've never played these games, so I don't know if this is like a direct continuation. It seemed like these were all new characters, um, but new Life is Strange game, double exposure. Uh, the ladies got powers. And it comes out October 29th. So, uh, yeah. Another one we've seen a few times, Mecha Break. Uh, looks cool. Third-person mech combat. Um, I think it is multiplayer, like a 6v6. Uh, it looked very chaotic, but it looked, looked pretty fun. So, uh, hopefully it is good. I don't know if we got a release date. Um, closed beta, August 20, 2024. Uh, coming out next year. So, 2025 title. I got another trailer for Snake Eater, the Metal Gear Solid 3 remake, Metal Gear Solid Delta. Um, still looks kind of janky. Um, not that the original game isn't janky, but it looks janky. And no release date still, surprising. Mixtape, another, I would call it a Life is Strange-like, where it's, you know, teenagers, young people, story-based, walking around, simulator, life simulator whatever you want to call those type of games. Uh, not my kind of games, nothing against them personally. Uh, coming out 2025, although I will say uh, the art style looked very nice. It was very refreshing art style. Stock 2, we saw a trailer, saw a gameplay of it, and it looked kind of rough to me. Um, there, were, there were parts where it looked good, and I'm not a huge fan of Stalker. I've only played one of them, but I don't know what to say. Like, there were definitely parts where, like, the animation was like, ooh, like, we, I feel like we could have gotten that a little bit better for our big uh, gameplay reveal trailer. But uh, nonetheless, uh, it is coming out this September, so it's pretty soon. There's not much time for them to change or alter things. So uh, we will see that. I think it's September 9th, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see if it says here. Uh, da, 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 da. For some reason, they, they don't have it listed here, but I'm pretty sure it's September 9th. Don't quote me on that, though. Uh, Winterboro, uh, think, uh, don't starve, but with mice. Basically. That is nearly exactly what it is. Looks cute. Not my type of game. Uh, if you like that kind of stuff, there it is. Uh, next, P.F. Chang's Fallen Feathers. That's what I called it when I first saw it. Uh, Wu Chang. Um, this is, yeah, okay. Chinese, so again, we another like Chinese, Japanese, like Souls like, very, very Souls like, definitely Souls uh, inspired game. It looks good, but we're getting, we've gotten like whether released already or to be released, we have like five or six of these games that look really similar, like Chinese, Japanese, like dark fantasy um, Souls likes that are coming out or are out. You know, in uh, the most recent years or, you know, coming out this year or next year. This one I don't think has a date. It was just the announcement trailer. Uh, and next, so that's all the games, basically. And now we are into just updates. We got a Diablo 4, what I assume is an expansion. Um, they had a big 
CGI trailer for it, so I don't think it's just a season. Um, they they're adding a new area, um, new new events, new bosses, all that kind of stuff. I kind of bounced off of Diablo Four pretty hard, but uh, new expansion for that if you're interested. Uh, Elder Scrolls, we already knew about the Gold Road. Just got a new trailer for that. Fallout seventy six, uh, a new expansion where they are adding the first new area that they've ever added to Fallout seventy six. And next year, you can play as ghouls, finally. It's only been seven years, but you can finally play as a ghoul in Fallout 76. Next year, not this year. Uh, sea of Thieves, uh, Season 13. So if you're still into that, there it is. Um, July 25th for that one. Starfield. We got the Starfield uh, first DLC called Shattered Space. We knew about this for a while, obviously. They announced it, um, but they showed it here. Looked okay. Like, if, you're, if you enjoyed Starfield, I'm sure you'll enjoy this. If you didn't care much for Starfield, I don't think this is going to do anything to change your mind. Um, but there it is, coming out. Uh, when is it coming out here? Oh, they also announced there was an update, like now, for some uh, a little bit of added content, but mostly their Creation Club stuff. Uh, I don't think we got a date for it, but I assume it is this fall? It just says launches later this year, but I think it's this fall. Uh, World of Warcraft, new expansion. Um... The, the way they worded it, it seems like they're setting it up as, like, this is the final expansion. I doubt that, though, as, as long as it makes money, they will make uh, new expansions for it. And that is it. The only other thing is hardware announcements, which we got an all-digital uh, Xbox Series S and X, and then a disc-based, like, kind of, like, funny Galaxy Black, some, like, white speckling uh, Series X and some like uh, very vibrant green accents. And that is everything that there was. Uh, it took us about 17 minutes to get through it all, but uh, a lot quicker than two, two and a half hours if you would have watched the whole thing. So uh, that's what the Xbox showcase was about. Do any of those interest you? Do you think this was a good showcase uh, based on these games? And um, anything there that was missing that you're like, why haven't we seen this yet? Whether it be new Halo stuff, or whether it be Tomb Raider like we've been hearing about, or any other franchise you've been looking forward to. Like, they own Activision now. Why not some Crash Bandicoot or Spyro stuff? Maybe you're even hoping for, like me, maybe... Can we get a, some teasers of a Forza Horizon 6, maybe? Something like that. Um, but I digress. That's what we had today, so I thank you all for watching. Sound off in the comments below. Until next time, have a great one.